Okay, this entire development was necessary. I'm not sure it was absolutely necessary, but uh, we did it so that we can answer the question about the induced EMF when the current through this coil is changing by 700 amps per second. Now let me just, um, to give you an idea whether that's a realistic rate of change of current, if we consider a 60 cycle per second current, the EMF, or the uh, rate of change of the current goes from maximum to zero in a quarter of a cycle, from zero to minimum in a quarter cycle, uh, from minimum to zero in a quarter cycle, and then from zero to maximum in a quarter cycle. So we have uh, four changes in the magnetic flux due to that current during one single cycle. Uh, if we have 60 cycle uh, AC current, for example, then that means we have 240 of those changes every second. And if the current is even as little as 3 amps, uh, 3 amps um, change in 1 240th of a second is around 700 amps per second. So that's a realistic uh, rate of change of the current. Okay, so uh, the EMF then is going to be just uh, negative L di dt. We've calculated L for this particular inductor. And we multiply that by the 700 amps per second. And we get approximately 2.1 times 10 to the negative seventh. Uh, we're going to get Tesla meters per second. The amps are going to divide out. We're just going to have our Tesla meters here, second of the denominator here. And a Tesla meter squared per second is a unit uh, of flux divided by a unit of time. In other words, a unit of rate of change, time rate of change of flux. And that unit, the SI unit, is the volt. So we end up with an EMF of negative 0.021 volts.